Let's have a look at an example question of the volume of a cone. Yeah, we know a cone now. It's like an ice cream cone. Uh, looks like this. There we go. This is a sketch. Oh, okay, you see that? An ice cream cone. And um, yeah, they always give you a few lengths. For instance, um, well, let, let's do it like this. I'll say, well, the length of this line is 12. Okay, and I'll say that, uh, well, let's go a little bit crazy. I'll say that this length is 18. Okay, and then they're asking me now, what is the volume of a cone? And in these questions, they will always give you the formula to find the volume of a cone. Yeah, so they'll say, well, the volume of a cone can be found by doing a third times base area, base area times the height. I just put an H there, times the height. Okay. Well, then you already realize, well, that the base area, yeah, what is the base? Well, that's a circle. Yeah? So that is pi r squared. The area of the base is pi r squared. So for yourself, you could already write down, well, it is a third times pi r squared times the height. Yeah? Fantastic. Okay. Um, let's find that. To start with, a third times pi times, what is the radius, guys? What is the radius? It is 6. Excellent. It's not 12. Huh? 12, how do we call that line? Indeed, that's the diameter. Huh? And the radius is half the diameter from the center to the side, so half of 12, so that is 6 squared times the height. Now, how much is the height? Where's the height? Is that 18? Is the height 18? No, 18 is the slant height. Eh? The height of a cone is that perpendicular height, eh? perpendicular to the base. That is the height, but they don't give it to me. Yeah, so should I feel nervous now or angry or do I tell my teacher I can't solve it? No, of course not. Of course you can solve it, yeah? You just gotta find it yourself. Now let me grab a piece of paper here because what do I have if I look at the situation, yeah? This is the height, go back to my cone, sorry guys, there's my cone. This is 90 degrees. What else do I know? I'm, t I'm, I'm looking at this triangle now. Yeah? What is this? What is the length of that one? Well, that's the radius at 6. And that slant height is 18. So can I calculate the height? Yes, of course. Yeah? And that's why every day when we wake up, we say, thank you, Mr. Pythagoras. Thank you so much. Because thanks to you, we can solve these types of questions. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah? And the C is the hypotenuse. That's the longer side across the 90 degree angle, eh? 18 squared, always be careful for that one. And those other two, well, I can do six squared plus eight squared, or eight squared plus six squared, it doesn't really matter, yeah? And now I can work it out. So h squared equals 18 squared minus six squared, yeah? So I'm rearranging the formula. So the height is then the square root, of 18 squared minus 6 squared, okay? Well, fair enough, let's put it in our calculator. 18 squared, 324 minus 6 squared, yeah, 36, so that's 288. That's the square root of that. So, you know what? I'm not gonna write down those decimals yet. We'll just say that the height is the square root of 288. And why do I leave it like that now? Of course, I could work it out and write down all the decimals, but I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Look, I find out the height. So a third times pi times 36 times, and the height we said was the square root of 288, okay? Equals, and now I can put it all in my calculator, yeah, all in one go, one over three times pi, times 6 squared, uh, 36, times the square root of 288 equals, and where's my pen? My pen disappeared. Okay, I'll take this one. It says 639.775143. One, 
Well, we gotta correct that to three significant figures. One, two, three. The nine stays a nine, or it goes up to a 10, and that depends on the next one. And it goes up to a 10, 640, yeah, because you carry that one of the 10 then to the next place value. Volume, oh, I didn't give units, so we can just say units to the power three, yeah, units cubed. Okay, so beautiful question. The volume of a cone, they give me the formula. Fantastic, I don't have to remember that, although in a previous video I show you why it looks the way it does. Um, and I still gotta realize that height is not the 18, yeah? The height is that, this is the height. So I have to calculate the height. And that is not a problem because we are, you know, young adults and we can use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the height. Okay, beautiful, you can do that. Square root of 288. So I plug that into the equation, into the formula, 640 units to the power of three for the volume of this cone. Okay, um, let's have a look at some compound figures and how we calculate the volume and the surface area of those. See you there.